This is our hygiene room. Hello, Dr. H. Hello Dr. there. Dr. Hamui. Hello there. To be more precise. Very nice to be with you today. Where do we keep the Epic? Well, we keep our Epic X laser in this cabinet right here in the second drawer, and you'll find everything that pertains to the laser in here the unit itself, the foot pedal, the power cord, and the tips. We're going to go through setting all of these up and using this uh, device. So first you want to take the laser unit itself out and lay it on a flat surface or you can access it. So if you're on, if you're right-handed, you'll put it here. If you're left-handed, you'll put it on the cabinet across the room. You want to get the plug. Put one end into the outlet. Power source, and then you'll find the insert on the back of the machine over here. So now your unit is plugged into the power, and to turn it on, there's also a switch back here. Flip, flip that switch. Where's the switch? Right over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. So now it's on. The code to enter the unit is eight, 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 it's four eights. One, two, three, oh, I'm sorry, it's three eights. You gave away our secret password. <laughs> <laughs> and then now we want to set up the tip. So what we want to do is open the drawer again, and we have the tips that we're going to use for the, our laser cleanings. It should all be the same. It's called the E4 Easy Tip. You'll know it by its clear um, head over here. You take out the laser tip from the pouch gently. And you want to attach it very securely to the handpiece here. Put it in and then you have to screw it in. It takes a little bit of force to screw in. So when you think you're done, just give it a few more until it really doesn't go anymore. It's actually a thread? Yes, it's threaded in. Mm -hmm. And now that is ready. And this cord unwinds around the unit quite a bit. So it's easy to reach your patient seated in the chair. We're gonna put this back into the holster here. And then now we're gonna go over the setting that we want you to use doing this cleaning. Of course, we're operating with soft tissue, so you click on the soft tissue icon. And then there's a list of procedures you can scroll through by going up and down. The procedure that has the exact setting that we want for these laser cleanings is a few pages down. It's number 10, infected pockets. So you click that, it'll tell you to initiate the tip. Don't worry, the tip's already ready to go. You press the check mark and it gives you what you should be seeing in the power is 0.8 watts. It lets you know that you're using the E4 tip, which is the one we're using. As long as you see all that is correct, you can proceed. So now what we want to do is get the foot pedal ready as well. Foot pedal is also in the cabinet. We take it out, of course, uh, non-gloved. Put it down and you can just tap it to release the pedal and that should be ready to go. So now we're ready to use a device. What you want to do is press this key over here. It'll activate the unit. You know the unit is on when you see a green light over here, meaning it's ready to go. I'm going to turn it off again and show you the difference. When it's off, you see an orange light. When you turn it on, it turns green. And when you look at the tip here, You'll notice there is a red light at the end of the tip. It's ready to go. So now what we want to do is put our foot on the pedal and you will know that the device is working if it makes beeping noises. So my foot is solid, is held on the pedal and you hear that noise. Right now it's firing the laser. So now let's talk about how you want to use this. So you can bend the tip along the metal end. You don't want to touch this clear end over here, but on the metal end, you're free to bend it 
so you can more easily access the patient's pockets. You can bend it in. <laughs> so when you want to use the tip, you press the button on the device here. The light will turn green and you will see a nice red point here at the tip of this laser. See that nice little red dot. It is now ready to go. So what you want to do is angle this just outside the pocket of the patient. Let me show you how. So you want to aim the tip right outside the pocket, not inside the pocket. You don't want to actually enter the pocket, but right outside the sulcus here. You want to trace the sulcus with the laser tip, trying to be as perpendicular or as parallel as you can to the tooth itself while holding the pedal. So you'll hear this sound as you move along the pocket like this. You want to stay along the line angle of the tooth and go around the pocket. Just like that. You want to trace, go in the interproximal along the straight line of angle of the tooth and continue tracing it from proximal to proximal. It's normal for the patient to feel a warm sensation as this occurs, but it should never be burning. And if you ever see um, any smoke coming out of the tip, that means you've burnt the tip. That means blood's gotten to the edge of the tip and it's heated it, the edge of it so much that it's beginning to burn a little bit. At this point, you wanna change the tip, but avoid doing this by remaining outside the pocket. Don't never let the tip actually enter the pockets. Stay just outside of it and just trace along the tooth. And the purpose of this isn't to remove plaque or calculus, but what it does is it de decontaminates the tooth. It kills the bacteria in the pocket by firing a, uh, a short beam of energy that's going to kill the bacteria as it fires along the pocket. So as I told you before, we're going to be using the infected pocket setting. It's the 10th setting. Once you scroll up to there, you press it. Press the check mark, you're ready to go. For any reason you want to go back, you can always hit the home button in the bottom left corner. You go back to the main screen. In case you were to go into the wrong menu, you can always go back, click soft tissue again, scroll through the menu until you find infected pockets, click it, green check mark. These are the settings that we want. Cool. So in this case, we never initiate the tip. We don't need to unless we're doing other more uh, invasive procedures. Okay. okay, now let's see what to do when we're done. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm finishing up the last quadrant of this patient's mouth. I've gone on both the buccal and lingual of every two surface. And I am now done with the laser decontamination part of the treatment and ready to go to my uh, hand instrumentation. You can place the laser back in the holder and press the button to turn it off. It is now off. Once you are done with the appointment, what you can do is gently remove this tip. Although it's not intended to be reused on different patients, you could use it again on the same patient up to four times. So what we like to do is unscrew it from the tip here, from the handpiece. You can place the handpiece back. What you wanna do is take uh, some tissue or some gauze uh, and wet it with alcohol and wipe the tip very gently. Remember, you don't want to damage the clear part of this tip. You just want to wipe it gently. Once that's clean, you could put it in a pouch over here, which will be provided in the cabinet right where all the laser equipment is, over here. And you can place the patient's name on the back how many, the date you used it, and it's put in the patient's chart for the next time they want a laser cleaning. And the hand piece is cleaned uh, or wiped with cavicide? Yes, yeah, so you can use a cavicide wipe to just clean the outside surface, clean any of the cord that you may have touched, but be gentle, don't push on it too hard. Just gently clean around it all, clean the unit, anything you might have touched, and it is ready for the next patient. And be aware that this simple tutorial video just meant to show you how to use the basic functions of this unit. It doesn't replace the laser certification that you can obtain through BioLace, which will give you much more in-depth uh, information regarding lasers, um, how they work, 
the settings of this unit and much more information. So we should still take that laser certification that BioLace uh, offers. Um, about safety regulations, I think there's also uh, eye protection. There's eye protection to wear. It's very important to wear these. Although you're never pointing the laser directly at your eye, we hope. This is meant to protect you from the wavelengths of the laser. Wear these when operating this device. And the patient as and well. And the patient right? has a pair as well. Yeah. That should also work. Cool. Thank you, Dr. Hamoui. You're welcome.